morning guys welcome back to another episode of fishing is therapy it's time to get that therapy look where i'm at guys i'm at the pond right now man this is me and george's honey hole i'm out here with the sunfish assassin guys but i'm out here on the pelican catch mode 110 guys it's her maiden voyage okay so i'm gonna come out here just on the pond i'm not gonna do a maiden voyage at the dam first i'm gonna get the stability and everything first thing we're gonna do is see the fishability we're gonna stand up stability, right? And then we're also just gonna see how we overall like her, okay? I'm gonna to try to get you guys some good footage on that, see if we can get, get onto some good fish. In this pond, we have bass, we have uh, brim, we have shell crackers, we even have snapping turtles, guys. So we're gonna go out here and see what we can do. First, we're gonna throw around some lures, and then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna throw artificials. After artificials, we're gonna go with red worms. We're gonna do a combination of that and maybe see if we can catch some panfish on some grub tails, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get her down in the water, guys, because I'm excited and I'm excited to see how she performs on her maiden voyage. Stay tuned. All right, we're gonna go down and try to get her into the water. Pull her around here. Uh, last time I ran over um, this red ant mound and I'm concerned about it now. <laughs> Sunfish assassin knows. I mean, covered my damn. Okay. So I'm gonna enter about right here, you know. Uh, get her nose in first. Just got these waterproof boots from Nord of Eight as well, and I uh, like them. Okay. All right, she's in the water. Okay. She goes. I love the space already, just the way it feels on the water, the stability overall. Um, what I'm gonna do is, um, I got my tackle box, my plain old tackle box back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach around, see how that feels, just reaching around and getting it. I was, I really liked how I was able to get in the kayak from behind. Like I, I got in from the rear back there and walked over the seat. That's a new thing I really like. Okay, let's see how this tackle box is gonna come out. There we go. Nice. And I could just slide it right here, put it off to the side when I'm done with it. And that's what I'm gonna set it right there. So let's go ahead and get cast it out. I'm gonna throw a, uh, what I'm gonna throw right now, I'm gonna throw the chartreuse. The, uh, it's like the purple and blue with the uh, turquoise flakes, chartreuse tail. Two and a half -er? His first fish, look at that. George's first one, he got a good one. So here we go, that's my first cast on the Pelican Catch Mode 110. Let's see how she maneuvers. Let's see how she turns. Nice, it's turning good. Right where I wanted to turn. All right. oh, my skeg isn't even fully down. Okay, now we've run into our first issue. Okay, the skeg popped up, which was good. When I ran into structure there, it uh, skeg popped up and I just pushed it back down with my paddle. There we go. Right on the bank of getting hit again. Got him. There we go, guys. First fish. Oh, stay down, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. <laughs> First fish, guys. Get her in the boat. Nice. Look at that. Nice. All right, you getting my boat fishy. <laughs> Look at that, guys. First one, those are the size we usually keep here. 
nothing much bigger than that, you know, because a lot of these, a lot of smaller ones here. And we want to, this is our pond management. So I got a little ice in the cooler. I'm going to have a little dinner today using that uh, kayak holder from Kimimoto right there. All right. And look at me not using the rod holder. Look at that. That's convenient right there. Look how I'm able to do that. All right. He in there mad at me. I got a prisoner so far. All right. We're going to turn around. See if we can get another fish under this tree. Seems like they're holding right on the bank under the tree. But man, I'm liking this. Uh, width I got here on this kayak. It's the space George makes so much difference. Man, I love this. This is one of my favorite things about this kayak. Look, just store it off to the side like that. That extra width, man, means so much to me. I'm comfortable. Uh. I got a recline seat. I want to see how I feel. To, while I'm waiting on the fish to bite, I want to see how I feel to, uh. To stand up here. Or at least sit on the, the seat. Uh-oh. Oh yeah. What a little guy. Feel like a new man. Look at that standing up, guys. She has a little wobble to her, though, but she's good. Man, but this breeze is blowing me all the way over here. <sighs> Oh well. George, you got a turtle. Let's see how she, how she dry. George got a snapper turtle. I caught him on purpose. <laughs> I saw all those bubbles he was making on the bottom. Yeah. I threw my water on top of him. I don't know. If he gets the fly on his feet, it's going to be gone. This is four pounds. That's live. I don't know. Let's see. There he is. You're going to give it to him, right? He, he got it like the uh, bluegills got it? No. I'm, am I going to give it to him? Yeah, I'm going to give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm gonna give it to All we gotta do is snatch the line. Yeah. I'm surprised he ain't broke it yet. He just ain't been pulling hard. What's up guys? 
So I got the Pelican Catch Mode 110, man. And I want to do a stability test for y'all, man. Right now it's 96 degrees. It's cooking out here. We're going to see how stable this Pelican Catch Mode is, guys. It's a, uh, 10 feet. We're going to see the width right here. And this kayak is uh, 63 pounds. My last kayak was 50. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys, and see how far we can tilt it and we can stand up the stability of this kayak overall. So I, I got a stand up assist strap right here. Uh, stand up like that. Look at the stability of it. Ooh, that's a little tip. Let me see if you're paddling with it. Oh yeah, I can feel shaky. Let me see if I can get the hang of it first, guys. Doing this for y'all. I need a longer paddle to do this. I need a longer paddle. All right, I'm about to come back. Let's see how far we can tip it before we fall out. Peace out, y'all.